Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're gonna be taking a look at Botomageda and seeing just how good they are after their Extreme Z Awakening in DBZ Doka Metal. This is the overcoming mental weakness Botomageda. They have received their EZA as a part of the Limitless campaign for DBZ Doka Metal Global and obviously we're taking a look at just how good they can be uh, in terms of their overall performance so really honestly a pretty good you know kind of performance uh, by the you know like unit in general i want to say very heavily tied to a universe 6 team like very heavily tied to a universe 6 team uh, unfortunately but beyond that, still a very good unit. Um, they have a lot of really nice defensive capabilities about them without being, you know, spectacular offensively. Uh, realistically speaking, that's kind of their biggest hindrance. They are a 100% in type lead. They greatly raise attack for one turn and raise their defense by 30% for six turns, which is pretty good stuff. They then have key plus 3, attack and defense of 168%. They have defense of 10% per universe 6 category ally on the team, up to 60% in total. And will guard all attacks when there's a universe 6 category ally attacking in the same turn, or when the HP is 80% or low. Then they get an additional attack and defense of 60% for 3 turns, with a medium chance of launching an additional super attack within the same turn after receiving an attack. It's pretty good, obviously with the way their passive works and the fact that they're built in additionals. You can kind of build them you know, full crit if you really want to, but you could also build them into additionals to just bring up their defensive like capabilities. They could in theory fire three super attacks in one turn, and this is a pretty important uh, kind of function for them, I feel. Uh, if you can fire three super attacks in one turn, Generally speaking, their defense becomes quite high. Uh, I believe the highest I got them after being hit uh, was around 360k before application of their raising defense. So it's pretty good. I mean, it's not terrible uh, at all. 55% as well, so it'll definitely increase with uh, dupes quite substantially. Now, of course, they are solid at that rank, especially with guard. Uh, it makes them a good defensive option. They just don't do much else uh, functionally as a unit. So although they are incredibly solid defensively, they are a little bit kind of restricted uh, in terms of offensive capability, uh, quite substantially so. They don't really hit hard at all um, at 55%, which is kind of why you want the crits uh, a little bit because Crits can make even smaller attack stats still be very effective, um, and that's kind of how I feel with them. With that being said, though, because of how low their attack or offense capabilities are, it kind of feels like running them with uh, essentially you know, full defense in mind uh, is also probably more applicable just in general, just because you, know, you probably will end up uh, running out a bigger winner than if you run them with offense in mind. You know, they're more likely to soak up an attack uh, than they are not. And they're pretty good at that. Uh, I will say, being a first start tank or being a tankier unit, it's definitely a big uh, improvement for them as a you know, character, so to say. It's definitely something that's uh, super duper important for them. I feel like it's very, very pivotal for them and yeah, I think in general they are definitely definitely a very good uh, performer from that aspect. Um, I do feel like they are defensively sound. That's very clearly their design philosophy uh, as a unit. Of course, beyond that, that is pretty much uh, everything you need to know about them. Uh, overall, a very exciting unit, very good unit. Link-wise, Tough as Nails is definitely their primary defensive link, but overall, they're not a great linker with a lot of units. They link okay with Universe 6 units through Tournament of Power, Warriors of Universe 6, Fierce Battle, and that kind of is everything you need. You don't need to get too nitty-gritty into it uh, to figure out exactly how good they are. They just, in general, are a pretty solid unit uh, 
across the board so i would definitely say yeah, you don't have to get too complex with how to use them or links or anything just use them as a first start tank you know what chances are you're probably just going to have a good time anyway uh, at least you know from my perspective with all that being said uh, they still are very interesting a very exciting option and ultimately at the end of the day i think players will enjoy using them they'll facilitate your universe 6 team and if you've got a couple dupes in them they'll be a reliable tanky solid unit that's it from me uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it's greatly appreciated and yeah that's basically gonna be it from me so until then as always take care stay safe and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one so till then take care stay safe and bye